Item number SCP-1428 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-1428-1 is currently contained at Area 108 and is housed in a tungsten cage within a 1.5 meter by 2 meters by 1.5 meter incinerator unit. The walls of the unit are constructed in three layers. The innermost layer is composed of fireproof concrete at a thickness of 30 centimeters. The intermediary layer is composed of lead at a thickness of 15 centimeters, and the outermost layer is composed of concrete at a thickness of 10 centimeters. One is to be incinerated three times daily at 12 a.m., 8 a.m., and 4 p.m. at a temperature of 400 degrees centigrade for a period of 30 minutes. Under no circumstances are any personnel to enter the containment chamber or make direct physical contact with one. Repair and replacement of equipment is to be carried out by remote controlled drones. Chamber is equipped with dust meters to detect whether one has entered a passive state. If this occurs, contingency Fuzong A is to be implemented. SCP-1428-2 is to remain under surveillance for anomalous activity, and the site is to be enclosed with electrical fencing. Any civilians that approach or attempt to enter the site are to be detained, interrogated, and administered Class A amnestics. Personnel are to report if the object in the statue's third hand moves or regenerates. No fewer than 5D class personnel are to be kept on site and restrained for the purpose of carrying out contingency Fu Song A. Description SCP-1428-1 is a creature that superficially resembles a crow. It is tripedal and does not possess a cloaca. The third leg has been observed to remain tucked up under its body unless it enters an active state. It does not need to eat, sleep, or breathe does not age and suffers no physical adverse effects from prolonged exposure to extremely high temperatures. Note, no limit to this ability has been found. It has been observed to withstand temperatures in axis of 1 million degrees centigrade, or radiation. One has never been observed to communicate, and its intelligence is unclear. One has three states, inert, passive, and active. While inert, it demonstrates no anomalies other than those previously stated. Passive states are marked by gamma radiation at varying intensity. There is no clear consistency in the charge of radiation over time, generally ranging from 5 to 90 watts per square meter, but occasionally reaching levels of 150 watts per square meters. The energy ranges from 1 to 1 1.5 MeV. During an active state, SCP-1428-1 will produce plasma and thermal energy consistent with the solar corona. Coupled with the burst of gamma radiation at an exponentially increased intensity, recorded charges had been as high as 340 watt per square meter with 20 MeV. While the thermal effects of an active state persist only for an instant and are confined to the immediate vicinity of one, the sheer magnitude of the release invariably result in catastrophic damage. Following the active state, one will begin to emit a roller band consistent with solar radiation. These bands appear to induce a compulsive effect on human observers, causing them to attempt to approach the source of the aurora. Individuals under the influence of this effect are completely unresponsive to external stimuli and will perform no action other than approaching the aurora. The bands persist for approximately one full day after the active state has ended. While one is in a passive state, it will enter active state once every three months, unless exposed to external combustion at an intensity of approximately 400 degrees centigrade or greater, which will cause it to become inert. While physical contact 
with one it is possible. Any attempt to physically harm it, other than incineration, will result in an active state. SCP-4028-2 is a temple or shrine located in the Beep province of China, approximately Beep kilometers north northwest of the site where SCP-4028-1 was discovered. The site was constructed in approximately Beep BCE and contains religious texts and iconography inconsistent with the region. The most significant of these inconsistencies are a ritualistic form of human immolation and the presence of an entity known as Redacted. This entity is a three-armed humanoid and is featured in numerous designs throughout the site. The majority of these designs depict what appears to be one perched on the entity's shoulder. A 0.5 meters by 1.5 meters by 0.5 meters jade statue of Redacted is located at the approximate center of the site and the entity holds an object in each of its hands, the earth, the sun, and a partially burnt note. Upon discovery, roughly 78% of its flesh was burnt. The current percentage is closer to 69%. Data expunged. This is genuine instead of being constructed of jade and shows no signs of decomposition despite being at least redacted years old. Additionally, while biologically dead, it generates a temperature of 30 degrees centigrade and has been observed to make subtle movements. It will occasionally fixate upon individuals that enter its range of sight and open its mouth as though trying to speak. Before analyzing several texts discovered from the site and considerable testing, it is confirmed that human immolation in two's vicinity will effectively cause one to skip its next active state. If inhalation occurs, the data expunge will begin to gesticulate as though silently laughing, and the burnt tissue on its being will regenerate at a rate proportional to the number of individuals killed by the procedure. Addendum 1428-1 Contingency Fu Song A The intensity of incineration on one is to be increased to 800 degrees centigrade if one does not revert to an inert state within 30 seconds. 1D class personnel housed at 2 will be immolated. Subsequent personnel may be immolated as necessary. Addendum 1428-2 On redacted, the object on the statue's third hand modified its orientation of its own accord and began to fixate upon the approximate location of Area 108. Its position has not shifted since the incident, and no other anomalies have been reported. Document SCP-1428-85 Emergency Containment Review Redacted Begin recording 8.45 a.m. Redacted This is Dr. Beep Adler deciding over this emergency meeting regarding SCP-1428 on Redacted at 8.45 a.m. We need to amend Fu Song A. What do you mean? I just been meeting with the anthropologist at Site-1428-2. We need to stop burning D-Class. We've been over this, Beep. No, listen to me, Beep. The crow is not a real problem. Seems like a pretty big problem. There is a reason why it hardly responds to anything we do. It's it's effectively on autopilot. Autopilot? As long as we doctor it is dead or asleep or whatever, there's nothing to give it directions. So, if it just flies around and leaks radiation everywhere, and the active states, that's part of the ceremony. The followers of we doctor could survive the radiation. Well... This is all terribly interesting, but I'm not sure how that. When you start burning people at a temple, the crow senses it as a similar type of ceremony, so it doesn't enter an active state. But burning people in that place had completely separate consequence. If you let that thing finish regenerating, it will attempt to contact the sun, which is where the crow supposedly came from, and where redacted currently is. 
What would it say? I don't know. The signs were so eroded we could only translate one word from the message. Which is... Breathe. End recording. 8.48 a.m. Redacted. Item number SCP-2481 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Site-143 has been constructed around SCP-2481 and all related experiments are to be conducted on site. To ensure the cooperation of SCP-2481-3, personnel entering SCP-2481 must be of Han ethnicity. One is to be kept disassembled in storage when not studied or experimented on. Two is not to be moved from its current position, and all related examinations must be conducted within SCP-2481. Three is to be accompanied by at least two personnel at all times. Personnel are encouraged to communicate with three through writing in order to stabilize its mental state. Subjects of Chinese history after the Lej Sha dynasty are to be avoided. Obtaining detailed information about 1 and 2 is of the utmost priority. Description SCP-2481 refers to a spherical space, roughly 50 meters in diameter, located at a depth of about 20 meters underneath a Shang dynasty archaeological site. Note SCP-2481 was discovered accidentally during the archaeological dig of said Shang Dynasty site. The foundation was subsequently notified for the anomalous nature of SCP-2481. Based on the materials discovered by the archaeological team, it is believed that the Shang Dynasty site was intentionally built upon SCP-2481 for the purpose of warding off evil. In Beep, Henan Province, China. The temperature within SCP-2481 is a constant 35 degrees Celsius regardless of the surrounding environment. SCP-2481-1 refers to a large bronze structure within SCP-2481, which roughly resembles a cube and four pillars attached to a flat surface. It is estimated to have been built around 1800 BCE. The structure appears to have experienced extreme heat, resulting in severely damaged parts and melted surfaces. SCP-2481-1 has been cleanly severed at the boundary of SCP-2481, with no segments or pieces of the structure found outside of SCP-2481. Certain portions of one resemble damaged circuit boards found in modern electronics. Analysis had proven difficult due to the damaged state of one. However, it might be speculated that the structure is a computing device in base 8. SCP-2481-2 refers to a beryllium bronze alloy device. In its original state, two would have been roughly symmetrical with one pointed end, estimated to have been 33 meters in length and one meter in diameter. It is speculated to have been previously attached to 1. Unlike 1, 2 displays little evidence of heat damage, but appears to have been damaged by blunt force, causing it to break into 3 large pieces and 38 small ones. Research into its components and interior structure is limited, as previous attempts to move the main pieces of SCP-2481-2 have resulted in the rapid destabilization of SCP-2481. Note, including but not limited to a quick rise in temperature, deterioration of 1 and further entry to 3. However, on-site research and analysis of its minor pieces indicates similar inner structure and working principle to BEEP, and it is likely that 2 was assigned as a BEEP. Analysis of BEEP with in SCP-2481 suggests that 2 is the core of the anomaly. SCP-2481-3 refers to a humanoid entity with reptilian features, genetically similar to a male human of Han ethnicity. 
suggesting that it underwent post-birth alterations. Three possesses a head similar in appearance to that of a many-banded trite, a roughly humanoid upper torso with a humanoid right arm, but clawed with Timidian hand, a serpentine lower torso with a snake-like tail in place of legs, and is entirely covered in scales. Three is currently trapped beneath two and has suffered severe burn-related injuries. The left side of its body is absent, including its left arm, part of its throat, a small portion of its face, and likely a significant amount of its organs. While three's wounds exhibit extreme heat, it does not spread to the rest of its body or the surrounding environment. Despite this, three remains alive and conscious, and although incapable of speech, is able to communicate with the Foundation through writing. Three uses what appears to be a sister writing system to what was either used in the, Shen Dynast in the Shang Dynasty, but significantly more developed. Foundation linguists were able to translate the script after three months of study and communication. Three is believed to be the operator of one and two. While the subject is cooperative, attempts to gather technical details on the devices have failed due to its heavily deteriorated mental state. Three claims to be an official of the Shah Dynasty under the reign of King Ji. Note, allegedly the last king of Shah Dynasty, commonly described as a tyrant, who was tasked with eliminating a hostile entity, but failed, resulting in the current damaged state of one and two. Refer to the addendum for more information. Addendum. The following is a partial archive log of most relevant information translated from Three's written text, real age in readable order. Due to Three's deteriorated mental state, most information offered has been proven redundant, repetitive, or incoherent. The original Chinese translation is provided alongside English for reference. About Three. I am E, an official of the Shah Court. I am in charge of the Tenth Sword to defend against the Golden Crow, which is the Sun God. Back then, there were ten Golden Crows appearing all at once. One of them found a chance and summoned great fires upon the Tower of Yu. I was no match for it, and thus trapped. The Shang later came and wanted to enact evil deeds, but fortunately, the sword of Shang Yang exerted its power, despite being damaged. Ti Xiang saw it as divine, and did not dare to transgress, and thus buried it under the ground. I was born in Jing, and received my transformation into the serpentine form at the age of twelve. I began to study the way of the serpent at the age of twenty, and was fortunate enough to work in the capital. The sword I commanded was powerful enough to slay gods, but who can predict that the death of nine crows would cause the heaven and earth to destabilize, letting the last one loose? Now that the Tower of Yu is shattered and the sword of Xiang Yang is gone, the crow has escaped, while wow, I am still left alive. I have failed King Jay's mission. Researchers note, the Tower of Yu seems to be referring to SCP-2481-1, while the Sword of Xiang Yang refers to SCP-2481-2. Head researcher, Xi Qing. I may wish for death, but if I do so, the history of Shao will since be lost. I therefore dare not seek death. About one and two. In the past, father servants taught us the ways, establishing the written language and the methods of building machines. The latter is called Wu Shi Ba Kua. Note a Taoist concept consisting of eight trigrams, often used to represent fundamental principles of reality. The Yellow Emperor studied it and acquired the spirit of the meadow and thus defeating Qi Yu at Ju Ru, King Yu collected metal from the state and was able to build his towers based on Bagua. After that, the gods stayed away out of fear 
and ghosts cried at night. During the reign of King Yu, all land within the four seas all unified. The savage and the foreign all fall under his rule. Some suggested we should sacrifice to gods. King Yu answered, gods are food to the lung, and humans are descendants of the lung. It is why we should not fear gods. Hence, King Yu collected metal from nine states, building nine towers to intimidate the gods. During the reign of King Shogun, swords that were capable of slaying gods were put into the towers. The swords were named after a great ancestor of the Yellow Emperor, called Xiangyong. When King Ji was ruling, there were 49 such towers and more than 10 such swords. The working principle of the sword of Xiangyang is not to destroy, but to get rid of one's form, mind, history from beginning to end, and causation, making it no longer exist. Nine swords used, heaven and earth were disturbed greatly, and such action is like drawing fire to oneself. The golden crows are no longer, and Sha was also subjected to its effect, or turned into ashes. Except for me, who survived by the effect of the broken sword. When the Shang arrived here, he didn't even know about the Sha, and the thought of me as godly or monstrous. About the cause of SCP 2481's current state, the Shang engaged in business and were lonely people. They did not study the ways of the Long and the Serpent and in turn worshipped the Golden Crows. It's laughable. They rebelled against Shua during the reign of King Yongjia. The savage and the lowly people prayed for magic from the gods. The king used machines to drive them away and wipe them out. Only the Xiong managed to survive by worshipping the Golden Crows. From the reign of King Go and to the reign of King Fa, Xiong was dealt with multiple times but we cannot rid ourselves of them. The Tetris Jun was the leader of Shang, who betrayed our mother and father, summoning the three legged crows with great fires and sacrifices. Ten sons appeared all at once, and Sha dynasty was in a dire situation. Thus, King Jie ordered ten officials to get rid of the crows and the swords of Shang Yang. Ten swords used and nine crows fallen. One escaped, and the effort failed by the last minute. Such sadness. As the Golden Crows in SCP-2481-3 description resembles the entity worshipped by the group, the Children of the Torch. With permission, the subject was shown materials related to SCP-1428 for confirmation. Three's reaction as follows. <laughs> it may have escaped back then, but now it us in the cage at last. Now that the golden crow is trapped, the way of the servant is achieved. The kings of Sha can now rest in peace. For more information regarding the Sha anonymous culture group, consult document 2481. Document 2481. The following is the extended log of information gathered from SCP 2481 3's written text regarding the Sha Anonymous Culture Group about the Yellow Emperor. Note A legendary Chinese sovereign as well as a mythical figure, often considered to be the ancestor of Han ethnicity along with the Yang Emperor. Allegedly, he unified China after defeating the other two major tribe leaders, Qiyou and the Yuan Emperor. Our great ancestor, the Yellow Emperor, once fought Qiyou and the Yuan Emperor. He defeated Qiyou at Zhou made the Yuan Emperor retreat at Bangchuan, and killed Qing Tian at Changyang Shan. Qiyou got rid of his body, skin and hair, and sacrificed them to the brass lung also known as Fu Shi. Qiyou had 81 brothers, all possessing heads of brass and iron. Yan Emperor prayed to Niu Hua, thus becoming an immortal and immune to disease. He could survive with his head removed 
and could craft flesh into into different forms. The Yellow Emperor saw this and commented, "Fu Shi is our father, and Yu Hua is our mother, but they have trapped each other in Tai Soi." Note, an imaginary planet in ancient China, which is the counterpart of Jupiter, but moves in the opposite direction. For over one myriad years now, sacrificing in vain, each fighting for their own master, but for what? The ways they taught are still preserved, but why not study those instead? Can we understand the way of the serpent and modify ourselves in shape of the lone? Chiyo was defeated, but said, "Me and my eighty-one brothers, all blessed by the brass lone." We have bodies of brass and iron that nothing can harm us. Applying swords and knives to them are proven useless. The Yellow Emperor thus summoned lightning and fire, turning them into molten iron, and sealed them in Shu, around Sichuan Province today. After the Yuan Emperor surrendered, there was the one called Xin Tian, who worshipped Mother Long. He rebelled, holding axe and shield. The Yellow Emperor cut off his head, but he grew a new mouth and eyes and kept fighting. The Yellow Emperor burned him, and he finally died. He was buried in Chengyang Shan, above King Yu. Note: Also known as Yu the Great, who is allegedly the first king of the Xia Dynasty and is famous for his blood control. During the reign of King Yu. Xiang Lu caused chaos by spreading plague and harmful insects. Xiang Lu possessed a body of a snake and nine human heads. Xiang Lu was originally humans combined. They did not adhere to the way of the serpent and listened to the words of the lone. So their flesh melted together, and their souls were gone. One would be consumed if came in contact with it. During the reign of King Lu. There were great floods. Regulation had proven unsuccessful, so King Wu asked Bo Yi for help. Bo Yi answered, "Eight hundred myriad years has passed since Fu Xi trapped Wu Hua in the plain of Tai Soi, and now from the long and serpents in the rivers, such is anomalous. We need to check on Tai Soi." Thus, King Wu collected metal from all over the country. And built towers of Yu. He later built a huge ship, passing by the moon and Mars, before sailing to Tai Soi. Bori said, "Tai Soi is where the Long is trapped. Now that cage has a crack. Flesh descended down to nine states, causing the ice of Shang Lu to appear. Thus, King Yu built three giant ships and stationed them at Tai Soi." Mending the crack. During the reign of King Qi, a gateway leading to Tai Soi was built. Researchers note: while the connection is unconfirmed, this fragment greatly resembles the "To the Dragon's Witness" poem from COTB Qi Archive. Beep twenty beep. Doctor Judith Low, senior advisor at the Department of History, Religious GOI Thread Analysis. About transformation, one who received the ritual of transformation at the age of twelve becomes similar in appearance to our mother lung and father serpent. Farmers acquire scales, craftsmen acquire serpent heads, officials possess body of serpents, while lords look like lung. Merchants, servants, and savages do not belong, and will not go through the rituals. Researchers note. The Mechanite, the Deifite, and the Sarkit, and how this? Various ancient cultures have undergone anomalous phases, often with strong emphasis on corporeal augmentation or transmogrification. But how much has it influenced the development of our species? Doctor Judith Low, Senior Advisor at the Department of History, Religious GOI Thread Analysis. Those who contributed greatly. Could perfect the transformation ritual, joining the ranks of scholars or even lords. About the dragons, the gods gathered at the great abyss, 
like insects drawn to flames. The abyss is also called Goishu. There are two great Lung who fed on gods. One of them stands for Yang and the spirit of metal, whose name is Fu Shi. The other stands for Yin and is the god of body and flesh, whose name is Nuwa. The two Lung mated and humans were born, and thus humans are descendants of the Lung. Researchers note, dualism is not unexpected. The basic concept existing among a majority of theological, mythological, and even philosophical traditions, but the nature of the dragons, of organic against versus inorganic, not something found in known Chinese traditions. However, a similar concept can be found in the heterodox writings of a little known Mechanite sect, whose beliefs were never codified and incorporated into the later Church of the Broken God theology. Dr. Judith Lowe, Senior Advisor of the Department of History, Religious GOI Threat Analysis. Fu Shi is our father's servant. He first taught us written language, and then the Bagua to help us understand the rules of the world. Machines were made based on Bagua. Since then, we all studied the way of the serpent. Yu Wa has sharp claws and teeth, and is our mother Long. She breathed life into soil to make humans. There are six beasts serving her, called Hong Dun, Chong Qi, Tou Wu, Tao Tai, Gong Gong, and Zhu Wang. Fu Shi fought Yu Wa, causing the pillar that holds the sky to break, and the strings that tie the ground together to break. People suffered. Only one out of ten survived. Fu Shi couldn't bear to allow this, so he used his own body as a cage, trapping Nuwa in the planet of Tai Shui. Other researchers note the following does not seem to be directly relevant to SCP-2481, but are archived for their possible implications. In the far west, there was a kingdom of apes. They walked on bare feet and controlled beasts of various kinds. King Shao Gong fought against them, and it was not until the ring of King Meng that the war was over. Level 4 Clearance Required Access Granted I have noticed certain similarities between the mythology associated with SCP-2481, those found in Mechanism as preached by the Church of the Broken God, and Sarkicism, despite sharing no common lineage with either. It is possible that those responsible for SCP-2481 encountered and or practice as anomalies of both a distinctly mechanical and distinctly organic nature, anomalies similar to those that had inspired the development of Mechanism and Sarkicism, and possibly other ancient traditions. Note, the Shua Anomalous Culture Group appears to predate these faiths and be the oldest recorded anomalous human civilization. It is possible that these faiths encountered anomalous objects or entities independently, or the Shua Anomalous Culture Group discovered the root of both, ultimately resulting in their unusual and anachronistic biomechanical engineering. These potential cross-cultural influences while intriguing and worthy of further study of minor importance compared to Tai Soi. I urge the Foundation to investigate this matter, considering the technology available to our anonymous culture group. It is within the realm of possibility that they may have constructed something capable of at least limited space travel, if scanning for possible artificial structures, either orbiting Jupiter or following its rotation around the sun is out of the question, then I at least suggest gather more related information from SCP-2481-3. Dr. Judith Lowe, Senior Advisor at the Department of History, Religious GOI Threat Analysis. O5 Level Claims Required. Input Credentials. Access Granted. To the O5 Council, Based on the information gathered and the research into SCP-2481-1 and 2, 
The research team have come to the conclusion that the Shah dynasty itself can be seen as an anomaly. They were in command of highly developed and anomalous technology, and most of its citizens had undergone anomalous modifications. We have already confirmed one to be part of a larger computing device, but the study of two provides even more striking implications. Specialists have identified some uh, inner structure and working principle to Scantron and reality anchors. And two is believed to have been designed as one-time use reality warping weapon. The analysis of the Hume level within SCP-2481 suggests that two is the core of the anomaly and reason that the items were able to be preserved. It may also be that two has somehow placed SCP-2481 in the form of stasis, keeping three alive despite its injuries. The team was able to obtain a list of important locations and structures of the Shah dynasty from three, but have been unable to locate any of the sites on said list. Furthermore, not only does one appear to have been cut off from a larger structure, but there is also a suspicious lack of one part outside of SCP-2481, even given the passage of time. Therefore, based on Three's description of the so-called Sword of Xiangyang's working principle, a bold hypothesis may be put forth. Given the literary prominence of the Shah dynasty, but a lack of archaeological evidence, we hypothesize that the simultaneous activation of nine separate two instances caused a mass destabilization of reality, resulting in a near complete erasure of the Shah dynasty and their artifacts from existence. SCP-2481 may have only been preserved due to two's damaged state and may well be the only extant remnant of the Shah dynasty. Nonetheless, the Foundation would benefit greatly from a thorough analysis and investigation of two. It may be too dangerous to apply the likes of two to direct usage, but the object will nevertheless advance our study of reality manipulation. Since most of its parts have not suffered any damage beyond being broken off, two could potentially be repaired. However, in order to do that, two has to be removed from its current location and then reassembled. This will lead to the destabilization of SCP-2481, and likely the death of three, which is still a viable information source. I therefore ask that the issue be discussed and a decision be made. Head Researcher Xu Qing Idol Number SCP-2101, Object Class, Euclid Given the highly public nature of SCP-2101's current location, containment is to focus around a disinformation campaign aimed at the public. The Foundation has currently negotiated with the Chinese government to hold all funding for the public excavation of SCP-2101. Any private donations aimed at completing the excavation of SCP-2101 are to be intercepted and redirected. The construction of fragments of whole SCP-2101-1 instances are to be occasionally loaned to outside museums and other sources in order to maintain the disinformation campaign. A minimum of 8,001 instances must be maintained within the mausoleum at all times. Communication with one must be approved in a request from beforehand to avoid unnecessary strain. At no point is SCP-926 or similar objects to be allowed within SCP-2101. Description SCP-2101 refers to a sphere of effect located at 34.3849 degrees north, 109 Point 2731 degrees east, the location of the mausoleum of the first Qing Emperor. The origin of SCP-2101 is located roughly 8 meters below the current lowest level of the mausoleum. Note, 
The mausoleum is currently believed to be the location of interest for the Shah and Ominous Culture Group. See SCP-2847 for more information. SCP-2101's anomalous effect currently triggers in all individuals who enter within a 10 meter range of the object. Given SCP-2101's position, this only affects those individuals who are located on the same level as the main excavation floor, where one instances are located. SCP-2101 projects speech directly into the minds of individuals. The content of the speech centers around the attempts to free SCP-2101, with several references to riches and huge tracts of land to individuals who assist in releasing SCP-2101 from its current location. One refers to a collection of statues constructed of terracotta, commonly known as the Terracotta Army. These statues resemble soldiers from the Qing Dynasty period of Chinese history. It has been noted that each statue is unique in its appearance. All one instances are currently located on the lowest floor of the mausoleum. One instances are capable of speech and movement, but they have stated that it is difficult for them to do so. Only one one instance ever speaks at one time. The speech is very slow and stilted, and has been noted to be difficult to understand at times. One instance claimed that A actively contained SCP-2101. Multiple instances have reiterated their need to stay in their current location in order to properly maintain containment of SCP-2101. The ferocity of these claims cannot be determined at this point. In past incidents, removal of one instances to the point in which less than 8,000 instances were present has caused small-scale seismic activity, measuring between 2 and 4 on the moment magnitude scale. The magnitude of the seismic activity increases the longer the instances are kept away from the lowest floor. Should the head of a one instance be destroyed, or if more than 50% of the body by mass is no longer in connection with the head, the one instance is considered to have been removed from the lowest floor. Reconstructing one instances through the connecting destroyed pieces is the only method of activating this. Object Recovery Report 2101A The following is a transcript of the video log compiled by the containment team that made first contact with SCP-2101. The dialogue has been translated from the original Mandarin. Date of Recovery December 1st, 1974 Containment Team Bravo 20 Commander Agent Lao Yijong Video begins Opening shot is of a containment team wearing standard People's Liberation Army uniforms with the current loadout of a small fire team. Team has been lowered into a hole in the ground. Beginning containment report of substantial anomaly A9012. Containment team is entering subterranean level to reach entity. Be advised, knowledge of the anomaly has spread into the area. Strong containment protocols may be needed. Containment team reaches level containing SCP-2101-1 instances. Team disengages from ropes and encounters one instances. Heavens, what is this? Looks like something of a historical Yang Shiju. Recorded note. Team has made contact and found what appears to be thousands of statues resembling ancient soldiers. Initial reports of demon voices not co- Members of contain team stop suddenly. According to a follow-up interview, SCP-2101 began to speak to the team at this point. A rough transcript of what the team recalls SCP-2101 said has been included here. Welcome, welcome. It looks like some good souls have finally arrived to free me from my imprisonment. Identify yourself. I am your emperor. Bow before me and release me from this prison. I will reward you with the riches of kings and lords. There is no emperor. 
identify where you are located. What do you mean by that? Surely my dynasty lives on even now. Those piggy warlords are no match for the might of my empire. I am below you, trapped in this dirt and stone by these infernal soldiers. What soldiers? Those damned clay ones. I know that they are still there. Else I would be free by now. Quickly, dig through this layer and free me. Agent Hua approaches the statue. These are made of clay. How could they? One instant. Designated us 1-1 one, one, at Agent Hua's harm. Do not listen to him. Do not interfere. Let go of him. Promise that you will not interfere. Let go of him first. I can make no promises. You must promise first. Open fire! The one instance is hit with gunfire, severing its head. Other one instances are hit in the fire, causing further destruction. SCP-2101 begins to laugh. Yes! Yes! I can feel it! The bond is weakening! Keep destroying them! Seismic activity begins. A new one instance, designated 1-2, steps forward. Cease fire! Cease fire! Fix the ones destroyed. We cannot allow him to escape. What is this place? What is your purpose? Hard to talk or move. You were men once but sacrificed to contain Emperor. He turned dangerous. Had to stop him. Sort of like path. Gave ourselves up. And destroyed your Emperor and Liege. A monstrous betrayal, one made by cowards and thieves and servants of those damned warlords. An entire army rising up against me. You must right this wrong and destroy them. Must not listen to him. His lies killed many. I brought peace and riches to own the land. Quickly, you must not listen to their lies. Free me now and I will take my throne again. The Empire needs me. I am its true founder and leader. They have no right to imprison me here. Why is this ground shaking? He is escaping. Need focus, else he escapes. We need to call him for backup and figure out what to do. Cut that camera out, Ting. Following this incident, it was agreed upon in the 7 to 6 vote by the O5 Council that contained would be followed by aiding one instances due to the implied breach each caused by freeing SCP-2101. Item number SCP-3418 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-3418 is contained on site at Outpost 3418. Personnel assigned to Outpost 3418 are required to rotate out every two consecutive weeks with staggered terms. Personnel must be observed by at least one other staff member while sleeping without exception. Personnel are to maintain constant surveillance of the Beep River and must retrieve, and must retrieve instances of SCP-3418-1 on site unless SCP-3418 is present. Personnel are to remain at least 20 meters from SCP-3418 at all times and must not attempt interaction with the entity at any time, for any reason. Upon identifying instances of SCP-3418-1, the individual's family of present living company will be located and administered Class A amnestics, misdirecting them to believe that the person in question was killed in a mundane manner. Five instances of SCP-3418-1 will be held for research purposes. The remainder are to be incinerated. Verify Security Level 3 Clearance Level 3 Clearance Verified The Foundation is in contact with the Chinese government with a joint effort to prevent civilian movement into and out of the area. To prevent suspicion regarding mass disappearances, 
The 40-kilometer area surrounding SCP-3418 must be saturated with a Class B amnestic aerosol on a monthly basis. The local populace is to be monitored for adverse effects from the frequency of amnestic treatment. For each instance of SCP-3418-1 discovered, 1D class personnel shall be apportioned for Outpost 3418 to ensure that the human presence within SCP-3418's area of influence remains at 200 persons or greater. Note, complete conversion to D class personnel estimated to occur by Tony Beep. Description SCP-3418 is a phenomenon occurring in the Beep River in redacted China. SCP-3418-1 are complete recently deceased human remains which spontaneously manifest within a 700 meter section of the Beep River. In all cases, SCP-3418-1 have been identified. They have corresponded to reports of missing persons within a 40 kilometer area surrounding SCP-3418. These reports share a commonality in that the victim was abducted while asleep, with no witnesses. The cause of death for SCP-3418-1 is unknown. SCP-3418-1 exhibit abnormal decomposition and are not consumed by microbial, insect or animal life, enabling them to remain well preserved without external assistance. In contrast to the apprehensive self-death of in all other tissues, the central nervous system of SCP-3418-1 remain alive and fully functional despite lack of oxygen and vital nutrients, and is capable of surviving indefinitely. Due to the complete lack of activity in the peripheral nervous system, sensory organs in other systems, or attempts to communicate with or determine the level of consciousness, if any, and SCP-3418-1 have failed. Electrical encephalogram and functional neurological imaging demonstrate high levels of activity. SCP-3418-2 is a massive aquatic entity which sporadically manifests within the area of SCP-3418. The entity resembles Bulgarius Norelli, or giant devil catfish, and is selectively intangible, rendering it immune to physical damage or capture. SCP-3418-2 possesses intricate, faintly luminescent markings over its entire body. Additionally, its eyes are absent. The orifice is instead filled with pale green opaque gemstones which emit faint light. Undisturbed, SCP-3418-2 preys exclusively upon SCP-3418-1, swallowing the ladder rapidly and whole. If interrupted, SCP-3418-2 will attack and consume the responsible party, if possible. SCP-3418-2 produces small amounts of neutron radiation and generates substantial Jankov radiation when manifesting or vanishing. Addendum 3418-1 Timeline of SCP-3418 Discovery and Containment 28th of April, 20 Beep Reports initially surfaced regarding human remains in the Beep River in redacted China. Situation is minimally monitored by local Foundation assets due to lack of evidence for anomalous involvement. 2nd of May, 20 Beep Coroner's report Detailing abnormalities in the four recovered human remains is intercepted by Foundation personnel. Recovered items are appropriated by the Foundation, as are several newly discovered remains in the Beep River. Identity of the deceased successfully traced to missing persons in the redacted area. 7th of May, 20 Beep Initial sightings of massive aquatic organism in the Beep River Initial reports are unsubstantiated, but monitored closely by Foundation personnel due to proximity to another suspected anomaly. 11th of May, 20 Beep. Seven further human remains are discovered in the Beep River, anomaly upgraded from Extra Normal Event Classification and designated SCP-3418, Exploration Initiative authorized. 
15th of May, 20 beep. Aquatic entity, now designated SCP-3482, encountered by Foundation Exploration Team. SCP-3482 successfully contained and transported to redacted. 17th of May, 20 beep. SCP-3482 containment failure. 21st of May, 20 beep. SCP-3482 successfully contained and transported to redacted. 22nd of May, 20 beep. SCP-3482 containment failure. Two personnel lost during breach. 25th of May, 20 beep. Attempt made to destroy SCP-3482 attempt fail. 28th of May, 20 beep. Attempt made to destroy SCP-3482 attempt fail. 31st of May, 20 beep. Attempt made to destroy SCP-3482. Attempt failed. 1st of June, 20 beep. Containment analysis of SCP-3418. 14 sets of human remains now designated SCP-3418-1 are secured by Foundation personnel. Projections do not indicate viable long-term COVID containment. Preparations begin for depopulation protocol. 6th of June, depopulation protocol 85% successful, data expunged. 16th of June, no further anomalous activity observed, SCP-3418 declared neutralized. 22nd of June, reports of SCP-3418-1 discovered originating from a separate section of the Beep River, redacted from the original site. 25th of June, 20 Beep. Report of SCP-3418-1 substantiated. SCP-3418-2 identified. Data expunged. 1st of July, 20 beep. Present contained procedures devised. Instruction of outpost. 3418 begins. Addendum 3418-2. Recovered materials. The first four instances of SCP-3418-1 were later confirmed to be members of the Children of the Torch, a Chinese occultist collective based on the beliefs of Redacted and possibly engaged in conflict with the Shah Anomalous Culture Group. Materials recovered from the homes of the individuals in question were obtained and examined to provide insight into the nature of SCP-3418. Two relevant excerpts from the appropriated documentation are transcribed and translated below. Shadow is born from light. Darkness is born from nothing. Beep is darkness. Beep swims in the vast and empty sea between light and shadow. Beep eats the flame of life. Flames swallowed by the darkness may never rejoin the father. They drown forever. Beep, the of quotation unknown, possibly Beep BCE, approximately. Beep came from the sea of dreams. Beep came through the sea of stars. Beep came to the sea of our shores. It grasped our people in their sleep and drew them into its waters. I saw the pale flesh of our people. It was a lifeless prison of their flames. They were motionless. They could only wait to be devoured. When Beep opened its maw to consume our people, a light pierced the sky. Night became day. Three hands reached out and engulfed Beep in a vast blaze, casting it back into the darkness. Beep. Date of quotation unknown. Possibly Beep BCE approximately. This is a testament of our actions. Glory to the Radiant Father. Beep hungers, and it eats without restraint. The Radiant Father slumbers. He cannot help us. He cannot save us. We must destroy Beep. Just as we are dreams in the sea of Beep, and we shall make Beep a dream in the sea of us. We shall anchor it to flesh with the sacred stones and expose it to the true flame. Written 25th of April, 19 Beep. Addendum 34183 Classified Records. Verified Level 3 Clearance. Level 3 Clearance Verified. 6th of June, 20 Beep. 
Depopulation Protocol 85% successful. Remaining pop is sterilized using contingency 170 cursive. 28th of June, 20 beep. Area depopulated until 265 persons remain, which are retained to ensure localized containment of the phenomenon. Rates of SCP-3481 appear to increase at a linear rate with the populace of the surrounding area, suggesting that the effective containment might be achieved by maintaining a small local population. Observation of containment efficacy begins. 30th of June, 20 beep. One agent lost during the night and later recovered as an instance of SCP-3481. Observations of SCP-3482 note a marked decrease in size when compared to its original manifestation. Reason for this change is unknown, but it is speculated to result from the smaller depth and breadth of the river in comparison to the original site. Addendum 3418-4 Event 3418-Shunran Verify level 4 clearance. Clearance level 4 verified. On the 12th of February, 20 beep, a commercial fishing vessel in the South China Sea, 15 beep north, 100 beep team east, investigated what was initially believed to be a sonar malfunction, discovering what is presumed to be an aquatic organism of immense proportions. Observation of the entity only persisted for approximately 15 minutes until contact was lost. However, the crew reported seeing luminescent markings and massive pale green eyes. Approximate longitudinal size of the entity based on eyewitness account and recovered instrument data is over 200 meters. The crew was administered Class A amnestics following interrogation and appropriation of instrument data. Analysis of recovered data later revealed a second abnormality. During the period of contact with the entity, the vessel's sonar system could not detect the ocean floor, despite the relatively shallow depth of the region in question. The data remains under study.